Your pain, you ready? Yeah. Main, let's lock and load. Yeah. Just blaze. Yeah. No, I'll turn me up. Yeah. Hey, I think we got one. Yeah. Here we go. Tell me what do you see when you're looking at me. The Hokies were looking to sweep the Wahoos on Tuesday night. Virginia Tech in Charlottesville a month ago won by two points thanks to Dorenzo Hudson. Six points in the final couple of minutes, including that game-clinching three Get right there before the game Seth addressed the team. No retreat. No surrender. Oh, we will stand and fight and die. Give the last breath to defend it. Early on, Mike Scott hit the first shot of the game. Wahoos go up 2-0. No Victor Davula, so the Hoogies would have to use Reigns and Barksdale inside. Finney Smith hits a triple, and Tech takes an early lead. Joe Harris walks with the ball, no call. But then Scott inside, rejected. Back to sender, Jarrell Eddy with a huge block inside. 4-3 at the first TV timeout, no shocker there. But then the Hoogies get it going. Jarrell Eddy with a three from the corner. Hoogies go ahead 6-4. UVA with a miss from outside, but Mike Scott inside, six of UVA's first eight points. Then Dorenzo Hudson fouled on this three-pointer. He'd go to the line, hit all three. Tech goes back ahead nine to eight. Great steal there by Robert Brown. Tech defense battling early on. Then Barksdale with a nice little jumper there. Hokies go up three with less than 30 minutes to go in the first half. Brown with the sweet spinorama, kisses it off the glass. UVA gets it going though. Jesperson, the freshman, Hits a three from the corner. Remember, UVA was one for 14 from deep in the first meeting. Green responds there, ties it up at 15. Then they kick out the rank, and he's been hot of late. He drains the triple. Less than 10 minutes ago, Hokies back on top. Then Dorian Finney-Smith, look at the shooter's roll there. Gets it to go. Hokies go ahead by four. Rankin kicks it to Hudson in the corner. He knocks down a triple. That's a Yahtzee. Five three-pointers early on. Finney Smith then finds Rankin again, and he hits another three. Hokie six of eight to start the game, red hot from deep. Then Brown rah, dumps it to Reigns for the easy flush. The big man. Look at him dunking with authority. Hokie starting to roll. Up seven at this point, then look at the up and under move by the big man. Sidarian puts the Hokies up 31 to 22. Scott, though, answers with a triple of his own. He had 15 points in the first half, only had 10 for the whole game in the first meeting. And then to end the half, Evans, a terrible shooter, gets the Hoos back within three. Look at the shooting percentages. 68% for UVA, 55% for the Hokies. They were 6 for 9 from behind the arc, 7 of 7 from the free throw line. Rankin tied his career high with 8 points all in the first half. Then look at the left-handed shot by Hudson. All he does is finger roll. Hoagies go up by four at that point. Then Green getting hot from deep. Hoagies up seven. Virginia would get a bucket to cut it to five, but then Green in transition, just like he did against Georgia Tech, nails the three-pointer. Eight of 11 from deep for the Hoagies to start. Green with 10 early points in the first half with 13 minutes to go. Hoagies up 49-42. Or excuse me, at the under-12 timeout, Virginia Tech up 49-44. There was more points than they had the entire game the first time around. The Zaglinski three tied it. Then with the lazy pass and steal there, UVA up by four. Then Scott with the N1 here. A 14-0 UVA run. Virginia Tech would not score for almost nine and a half minutes until Brown finally breaks it with that free throw there. Then with the shot clock expired, yes, I said expired, Evans hits just his fifth three-pointer of the season. That's right, just his fifth. There you can see, shot clock had expired, referees count it. That's the way it was. UVA up eight. Then Green, missed free throw with Tech down five. Hudson missed free throw with Tech down four. Inside, Scott tries to lay it in, can't get it to go. Jesperson with the offensive rebound with 43 seconds to go. Who's up six? But guess what? The Hokies would battle back. The Cardiac Kids, they get it within three. Green with the turkey there. Akil Mitchell, a 54% foul shooter with UVA up three, misses the foul shot. Scott dribbles it out of bounds. Green goes in, almost gets it to go, would have had a chance to tie. Instead, gets two free throws. Yep, misses the first one. Tech just four of seven down the stretch. 
from the free throw line. Again, that killed him. Akil Mitchell again on the line. Can't get it to go. Look at the battle inside. Hokies grab it, call a timeout. They'd get the ball with 17 seconds to go. Hear how that went. Hokies couldn't even get a shot off. Dorian Finney-Smith with the tough pass and the turnover, and then Brogdon misses the free throw. Hudson comes up just a bit short on that full-length shot. That's your ball game. Green was 17 in the second half, 19 for the game. No one else in double digits for the Hokies. Scott with 20, Zaglinski and Evans with 13, most of their points and damage in the second half. UVA shoots 60% for the game, the third opponent of the last four against Virginia Tech to shoot for better than 55%. Again, free throws killed the Hokies down the stretch in just one field goal in the final 13 minutes, and that was with a little over 30 seconds to go. And, yep, you can read it right there. Tech loses at home against UVA in back-to-back -back years for the first time since 1955. First time it's ever happened in the castle. We'll see you at Duke on Saturday. I'll be right behind the Tech bench. These Virginia Tech basketball highlights are brought to you by TechHoops.com. Rah!